Hello, everybody. Stepan, I can't find <clears throat> where. I guess I can just turn off hold potentially inappropriate chat messages. It's not even on strict. Hi, Cielo. Hello. No, that's annoying. The other annoying thing is I don't see the approval in OBS, only in. Uh, <clears throat> the dashboard over here oh well hi everybody um first of all weege is in my lap if you're wondering second of all i'm just gonna quietly paint this uh bird today um 
it's a it's a tufted tit mouse it's a little bit of it's a semi commission but not really um and what i have <clears throat> what i've done is i took the the if you looked on the starting soon there's this uh, engraving illustration and i just took that outline <coughs> hi brian i just took the outline and i'm gonna paint as if uh it's an actual reference uh just because i like the shape i like the the layout with the with the flowers so there's no actual reference i just have over here a window open with a bunch of uh tufted tit mice <clears throat> um so it's sort of a, a little experiment of messing with references to get to a different thing instead of just straight copying so we'll see how it goes kind of like the t the turkey i did where it was uh i i took the <clears throat> the reference image but I took the colors from another uh, another reference this time just the shape um, so yeah next week I'm not sure what we're doing I'm just getting announcements out of the way just in case there's anybody here for the first time on just YouTube um, which is not likely yet <clears throat> Are we giving away a personalized mark to like painting if I, I, I wish. Hi Liz. Yeah, I, I, I at least paid for one of the references. I have it and I'll probably mostly be using that one. Hi Envy. Um, this week <clears throat> I think is going to be a lot of, um, on Twitch anyway, I think I'm just going to paint birds. Um, and kind of pigeonhole myself in there a little bit. Hazy, I'm feeling better, but I'm still a little under the weather, so, um, yeah, lots of birds. I got some colored toned paper that I want to try out, <laughs> but for today, I'm just going to get to this. Um, if you're watching later on, here are the colors I, I, I put out on my palette I don't know that I'm gonna use all of them but I wanted to have them just in case um, I have I'm using mostly gouache I've sort of shifted to where <clears throat> I, I use gouache a lot more kind of watered down a lot of the time but still treating it like watercolor um, and I'm also using a lot of the I guess not that many but I really like the, uh, the, uh, I always mispronounce it, the Iridori gouaches. So I have a, a lilac watercolor, a geisha blue, <clears throat> um, Miosotis blue, I'm, I'm mispronouncing that I know, uh, G861, a pale coral, an ash green, a light ochre a raw umber and then just kind of a medium gray uh and then a Payne's gray and then also i realized i put out a davies gray which i'm probably going to mostly use for the <coughs> the the gray that's in the bird and i i guess i just put it back in the in the tube and then you know permanent white gouache as well as my dr martin's bleed proof so those are all over there brush wise uh just using a 20 for some laying in uh and then just a random bunch of brushes that i feel like maybe i'll try all of them are mostly princeton got a 10 and a four round a, a, a six filbert a five over zero for some details and then this old lady at, at the one store the one art store I go to, she sold me this uh, squirrel synthetic half inch flat and I don't know if I like it or I just like that an old lady sold it to me, but I use it a lot. That's where we're at. Um, 
just gonna start by putting some clean water on the bird except this is a dirty brush so I'm gonna start by messing up which is just you know a great go what a day start by putting some dirty water on there just to really drive home the fact that I don't know what I'm doing love to see it. this is your fault Weege. yeah hi Stace hello I just traced the, the engraving image. I didn't get all the details in, just the outlines. And then basic flower shapes. Uh, Brian, I've painted with Liz before. She taught me how to paint a pelican and a spoonbill earlier. And now I just uh, stole her brand. I'm just a grumpy version of Liz. By the way, I'm going to upload the old New Tricks episodes to YouTube soon when I uh, start doing them again on mine. I have kind of a back catalog. All right. So let's see. I kind of want to start with this ochre. Get the some of the ochre that's under the wings here. And there's a little on the face. Yeah, I don't know why I don't know what your deal is today. Okay, but I gotta paint. I don't know what's up with her. She's just chilling in my lap. too much of this just enough to get the shape worked down all right start with a really light wash of the Davies gray I think it's like a greenish gray So I don't want to get too much in the back here because this is still kind of like because it's turned this is still kind of the chest so I, I, I want to have a bit of it but not too much 
mostly gonna be white here with some like shadows <laughs> have to bring in a little bit of the the gray at a time and then I think for contrast I'm gonna use this pale coral and the lilac together and kind of make my own colors up for the flowers just for fun so I'm gonna do that a little bit now while it's dry in here I I'll, I'll start with the lilac I just think it'll be a nice hopefully a nice little contrast and they'll look nice together Again, the reference image is just a black and white like engraving style thing so I think these are maybe usually white flowers or, or just straight pink but I don't care I don't care I feel like having some purple coral flowers I'm not worried too much about the being in the lines. I like kind of the idea that it might blur out a bit and make the flowers feel a little less stiff. Kind of just splashes of color that happen to have flower shapes, you know? just like coloring in there's some like the lines are just kind of guides to make sure you remember where you wanted to put them I sound so tired Thanks, Wuma. Wuma, I mean, the I like the the image. Uh, I, I I maybe need to get away from centering everything soon and just try some other stuff. But okay, okay, all right. Yeah, I'm sorry. Here's your attention. Here's your attention. Okay. Yeah, you're good. Okay. I don't know why she's being like this today, but she's just chilling. Hi, Gurch. Probably shouldn't have moved the camera. Whatever. So a lot of the times you want to avoid like the hard lines with watercolor. So you want to try and not let edges dry without kind of fading them out but I like how it looks sometimes and so I'm gonna kind of encourage it to happen where I'm just gonna put a little bit more pigment on the ends here of some of these so that it dries a little darker and there's kind of like it's just uh, it gives it a little more texture I think but normally you'd want to work Oh, you done? Thank you. Where you blend them together. But I'm I'm half just trying new stuff most of the time with these. These are always tight the, the titles by the way are always titled how to blank because apparently that's what people search for more. And if you have it in the title, it helps a little bit, but I don't, 
necessarily consider these actual how-tos. They're more just demos of me trying stuff. So maybe how I'm doing things, you might pick up something you want to try. I don't know. But I'm not pretending I know what I'm doing entirely yet. A lot of it's for the algorithms. Yeah, she is. She's over on her couch today, which is cropped, so there's no floating cat over top of the painting. <laughs> if this goes quick enough, I have a, a chickadee that I, I, I watched uh, Liz's uh, workshop the other day. Was it yesterday? Two days ago. Saturday. Uh, but I just didn't want to paint along at the time. But I have it all prepped, so we might be doing a two birds today. See, I don't know if it's obvious, but that now it's getting these little purpley lilac hard areas blending in with the others, and then I'm gonna come back and put the coral in there too. So, hi, Charlie. The workshop was great. Liz is fantastic teacher. Um, I was just kind of tired and I didn't really want to leave a mess out, I guess. I just didn't feel, I just didn't feel like painting. Which has been something I've been dealing with. All right, let's see. Let's get some of the... No, it's too early for that. Let's mess with the tree a little bit. I've got some raw umber. Brush that in here. If you guys don't know already, watercolor, you, you kind of always want to go light to dark. Because it's transparent, although I have a lot of gouache today. Hi, Meg. <clears throat> um, so one of the benefits of gouache is it's opaque, so I can paint over. darker colors if it didn't work out but at the moment I'm just kind of implying the branch in some of the empty areas I like it feel it feels a little brighter than the, I might keep it light instead of make it like full brown all right Let's go back to this Davies gray part here is the like darkest part of the references this edge of the wing and then a little bit of the tail in this case I do want to fade it out so that it feels right quiet today sorry I'm not sorry it's easy this is what I do over here it's easier to go live knowing I don't have to be loud start sneaking in some of this Payne's gray 
Yeah, that looks nice. Hi, Morgan. Still working with the filbert, it's getting a little big though. I'm only this is seven by ten cold press. Um, I think it's the Blick brand, Blick store brand. <laughs> I like cold press, but I just like the extra textures. I might try start to start doing these more on wood panels actually too. Just like the texture that happens. Alright, they've got some dark legs, so let me sneak those in. Let me get rid of this filbert. We're gonna go back down. We're gonna go down to Oh, it's too early for that. I'm gonna go grab a, a smaller two round. everything so um, all my brushes are like in a, a cup on the wall I'm trying to get more organized with it just been sitting in a like a bamboo holder on my desk but it's not a great permanent solution no it's safe for work well it's a it's a bird So hi, Will.
Liz, do you want to? Did you tell Morgan your story about your good story from today? Morgan will like it, I think. on there. It went a little higher than I wanted. kind of come back and I'm going to take this raw this light ochre and I want to mix it with a little bit of the gricker that should work take the tiny brush of it as I can. Guys, Liz said uh, she's watching this while she packs orders. So if you're in the mood to annoy her, you should go order some stuff from her so she has more to do. I suggest a mini heron print, personally. Yeah. 
So I'm just slowly adding the yellow ochre gray mix so it it exaggerates it a little but I still kind of like the the effect of of the brush strokes in there. Hi Kush, yeah, go for it. How are you Kush? Kush, why are you not a mod? I know you don't really I have to do too much stuff, but I still think it's important. That's not too bad. I don't hate it yet. Also a lot of a bigger brushing in to mix these. Let me get a lot of this Davies gray out of here. A little white. up too much all right so I learned from Liz Liz always uh, does a little test swatch to see um, if the color's right or too dark or light, and I uh, don't do that. Just thought I'd share uh, techniques of people who know what they're doing versus me. I just go for it and. Uh, Sometimes it works. This isn't too bad. Just doing really light strokes that are kind of in the direction of the feathers, bluff, whatever it is. And I'm using this like this tiny five over zero uh, hyper detail brush just to get the implication of some of these lines in there without really it doesn't hold they don't hold a lot of water unfortunately. kind of like a quick little V almost sometimes just go really quick and then kind of make sure it's a little little V shape that's what I've been doing so it doesn't feel like lines it feels like a little bit like there's some motion to them and it'll thicken up the bottom a bit of those lines I, I finally, I think, have eased up on supplies, although I do want a standing easel for in here. Uh, 
for the big canvases I got to try and uh, I just don't know how to set up the room for painting on an easel set up the cameras rather it's getting nice I want to bring in a little bit of this blue here it's not that it's actually anywhere in the picture I just think it's adds a little bit to the glow of the white so I'm gonna just do like a really watered down like see super watered down I, I have a desk easel, but we're talking like 15 by 30 easels or a uh, canvas. And I like the idea because I'm going to probably use it for oil. I like the idea of it just uh, being able to sit and I can move it off screen. Yeah. So I'm just bringing a little bit of this blue in. It's it's a. Uh, I can't pronounce it again. It's this myosotis. Myosoda, I'm going to look that up later. But I'm just going to put it at the edges of some of the white here so it it'll make for whatever reason the white parts look whiter. And then also just a few little of the brush strokes in there <laughs> it's one of the Japanese inspired gouaches that Holbein has it's just like a really pale uh, blue yeah that's looking okay I use I use the screen as my stepping back to look at it Again, none of this, I'm not actually really seeing this blue in any of my references. It just feels like it lightens some of the, the gray up in a way that it matches somehow. I don't really know how to explain it. Just kind of sneaking, sneaking it in places. Sneak back with some more of this just to get these in there. I'm not really good with uh, feet yet. This is a little more stylized than it is accurate, but I don't, I don't mind too much. Just get some lines in there. I don't know how I missed right here either. back and add a, another darker layer but I'm kind of doing it dry brush so it'll it'll have a nicer little uh, texture if I don't get the water too wet or if I don't get the paint too watery it'll kind of add these cool little effects as the because the brush is dragging on the paper when it's there's not enough water so it's like you're just kind of forcing it to take the paint off the brush. Right. Let me get. I should probably. I should probably get a, a 
a dark black version of this uh, for eyes and stuff. But for now, I'm just going to use the Payne's Gray again. Payne's Gray, if you don't know, is basically just like a blue-gray. Blue-black, rather, sorry. Uh, so when it, it dries a lot lighter, and then it just has this nice feel to it. Apparently, some people think using Payne's Gray is cheating. Just mix it, but... Uh... I haven't met any of those people, and I don't care to. It's one of those things you hear about. This feels a little too static. I'm gonna fill this in a bit. Hi, Oozle. Whenever I finish this, I would, uh, I'm probably gonna go play Overwatch and see how much I, oh, actually, it's the last day of the season for Overwatch. It's probably a nightmare to play right now, actually. Let me, let me bring this up a little. Yeah. Not terrible. What was that, my four? Where's my two? So brought over zero. Let's use a zero. Also, sorry if I'm talking to, I think the mic is picking up all my mumbling. But I'm also really aware how quiet I am today. I think I'm just gonna do the really I want to have a really bright part of this because there's a lot of them where a lot of the references that this is really standing out and obviously it, it, I had it blur a little bit more into the areas but there's part there's this is like a really defining feature of this bird, I guess, is this bright splash of orange yellow. So I wanna make sure I give it a bigger area where it's definitely there. Yeah, I like that. My friend asked me to paint this because her mom likes uh, this bird. I'm going to paint a few more birds this week, but I have all this toned paper that I want to try out. We did it. We did the olive paper. I'm going to let this dry a little bit. We did the olive paper before um, and I bought like f I bought a sand uh, like a muted blue and a red in that same kind of paper. So I'm going to try that. Have I? <laughs> it's only, it's only been 50 minutes of this painting and I'm, uh, almost done. Uh, I'm not sure. So I was thinking, <clears throat> um, I was thinking about what would contrast nicely with it. Um, with the red. 
so I'm not sure. All right, let's mess with let's mess with these uh, flowers a little bit. I have this really nice pale coral, and I just want to I just want to sneak it in there. Who's here? Hi, MRP. really good at realistic florals just yet uh, I'd like to try it more but I'm kind of fixated on landscape right now and learning more about oil so I watched this domestica course uh, on oil painting birds but it was like the lesson was about how to paint them as if you had like taxidermy and you set up the lighting perfectly to look at the taxidermy um, <clears throat> and that did make me think I should do just a really realistic natural portrait of Babs I'll talk to Meg about that later if I get actually really good with the oil painting can you just imagine I have like <coughs> a vintage looking oil painting of the taxiderm squirrel in uh, Barbie's Playhouse or whatever shit Meg has I think that'd be funny her and her blue collar hero husband would love it I get I bet oh hey Meg I don't know if you stuck around I don't know if this is coming across in in the uh, video, not really. So, so I'm adding this pale coral. So it's kind of just this purple into peach uh, look with them. I didn't even I didn't even put green on my palette. I probably should have. Uh, or red. There's no red really, and there's no green on here. I'm sure I can figure something out with these ones though, for the branches. Oh, I have the ash green. I have the ash green. I remember now. I don't use red a lot, I guess. I think that's why that 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 toned red paper is gonna be hard for me because I just don't use red very often. I feel. Yeah, I think the first time I tried oils, I was definitely over using the, the paint thinner. It just didn't feel natural to have the paint be so thick, but I think I'll, I'm gonna try again this week off stream. All right, that looks kind of nice. Just implied, it's not really there. Let me get some of this ash green now that I was talking about it. I think it's funny. I, I couldn't stand gouache and I took that class and I couldn't stand it again. And then I just started using it more. And uh, I just like how I'm able to mix it in with oil I'm sure I'm not doing it in any kind of right way but I like just mixing it in with uh, regular watercolor but this is mostly gouache today which is kind of wild I'm just gonna sneak some like implied leaves in here just so it breaks up the bright nothing Nothing that on close examination looks like anything, but when you step back, it kind of feels like there's leaves in there. <laughs> Hi, Rick. Hi, cat. Well, no, I know there's no right way, but there's probably a uh, better way. Yeah, sneak him in there. Hey, 
bring it into the branch texture a bit. Instead of brown, just use a dark green. Why does my nose feel stuffed? That's good. <clears throat> That's not too bad. of the uh, paints gray here just really get this to be dark as I can get it lilac and just kind of lay it in straight pigment no no water it's watercolor so it'll still fade out but not watered down just pulling straight from the that's one of the things I'm excited to try with wall with oil is just really thick paint and making the uh, Giving it depth with that. Yeah. Now I think normally I would, I would try and maybe put some darker stuff in. Let me think about it. I would normally maybe want to put some darker tones in the middle so the the like center of the plant pops or the flower excuse me I don't know if I want to do that right now hmm. I'll look at it in a sec all right I think this might be a short one today. I was thinking about painting Liz's. Liz had a workshop on Saturday um, where she painted a chickadee and I'll show you real quick what I did with it. So I took, I took Liz's reference image. Hi Arrow. Uh, so this, this is Liz's reference image filtered so that uh, I can trace it easier. And I traced it on here. Um, and it was a really good workshop, but I think, I think I, I don't want to paint it live because I don't want to take away from people seeing Liz do it. Um, yeah, so I'm probably going to skip that. I'll probably just wrap this up here in a second. I guess I'm really fast at birds now. I feel like Liz could do this in an hour. She just gets distracted. I feel like this is an easier, I, th I think this is an easier bird to paint because there's not too many color variations and I snuck some stuff stuff in there, so. Um, we're getting there. I still, I think it uh, I'd still uh, struggle with a cassowary as an example. All right, let's get the highlight white ready. And there's going to be a, a little bit here at the top of the... Is this dry, actually? Might wait a second. Well, that's the thing. I had I had Davies Gray. I didn't really have to mess with it too much. I know I could darken everything up right now, but... I think it... I think it works. Get that in there. What else? 
else? What are the little highlights? I think you do a little bit in here. Like Davy's Gray, it's pretty much, they might as well call it uh, Titmouse Gray. Oh, I don't even know how to do this. I. They don't really have a lot of sparkle on the pictures, so we're just gonna do this and maybe one of these. Yeah. A lot of gouache out for no real reason, I guess. Actually, see. Let me get let me get some of this gouache. Just get a little bit of yellow in there. All right, a little bit of light ochre. I don't have. It's not actual like yellow, yellow. Let me. Like look at like look at this guy. I think I I guess I can do another like black edge around the eye. Looks good. This is literally just not wanting to come off the brush. up a little bit right there. Work still. I realize this is hard to see. Maybe I set up my other camera up here soon. be basics is it what Seth I'm I'm not gonna lie I don't know what that sentence means uh, anymore is it normal to not be basic spelling to not make sense is it normal for basic spelling to not make sense once you're working on graphic design You've been looking at a word too long, Seth. Is that what you mean? I hope that's what you mean, because otherwise I don't know what you mean. But yes, uh, to answer the question that I think you asked, that is very normal. Let me get a little bit of the light ochre at the top here just pull it in there it's just then it's just in there a little bit nothing that you'd ever really notice unless i told you it was there Sneak into Liz's Discord to see. Wombas. I'm really bad at, uh. Wait. I see the paint good one. Did you post your, uh. Workshop one? Is it in workshop chat? It is in the workshop. I see Stormies. Oh, there you go. Oh, 
Oh, that's nice, though. I can see you thinking you had too much floof, but I think it worked out. I think it worked out. It just looks like a, a, a fluffy little guy who gave a little shake after a rainstorm or something, you know? <laughs> Like, it doesn't take away from it. Alright, so this is a little... Too much here. I'm not talking. That's just me. I wanted to cut back some of the 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 chest yellow chest ochre so that it uh, it made more sense. And I'm gonna redo the eye. I think I just want it to be bigger. It doesn't have to make sense, but I just I feel like the eye should be bigger. bigger in the image but it, I, I want it bigger and then let me get a little bit of a shadow for the to acknowledge the bird is on the branch I want it to look like it's on the branch so I'm gonna mix a little bit of Payne's gray in with some of the ochre darken up this part under the bird. You can just call it tit ochre? Yeah. I think, I think, uh, everybody seems to enjoy the word tit added to things. Not too bad also I'm streaming at 2k so hopefully all of this is coming across clear uh, it's cool cuz the camera the the GoPro can stream out at 2k max you can do on twitch is 1080 so this is like twice as much resolution uh, as I normally have on twitch uh, which is nice because I, I want to edit down for like TikTok or something. Yeah, let me. I'm gonna wait for the eye to dry, but I, I think I want to keep putting some more of those purple splotches in there. Just so they're not only in one spot. I want to have it a little bit in there. Uh, 1440 is 2K, yeah. I mean, it's, I don't know why they're interchangeable, but I think it's, it's 2060 by 1440. Not your boss. Not your boss. Tufted titmouse jewels, yeah. 
There's some other types that are, uh, I'll probably paint this week on Twitch, but, uh, I just like the tufted one to start. I think it looks a little nicer. I like, I like the hair. All right, let's see here. That's not too bad. at this point I'm just messing things up I think we're in I think we're in stop finicking stop finicky being finicky with it set to low latency not ultra low latency so that might be helping i'm sure messages are a little behind from when i'm responding but also you know less to read too all right i'm gonna leave it there i think if you were someone's mom this you'd, you'd like this yeah hi carla That's not too bad. <clears throat> all, all, the, all the lights getting in the way and shadows, but. Yeah, little guy. Let's see if I can get rid of the shadows with this thing. Yeah. I might let it dry and tweak the eye a little bit more so it's a little more lifelike, but uh... <clears throat> a sneaky little uh... I think I probably didn't actually start for like 15 minutes, so this took me like an hour. <clears throat> I mean, to be fair, I did trace. I did trace beforehand, so if you factor in the tracing, probably an hour and a half, maybe. I gotta start trying some more dynamic poses, maybe, or uh, maybe I move on. To, I try and paint the like the full wing patterns, like with their wings out and stuff. I don't know. Not too bad though. Nice little uh, slap of a stream. I, I literally was debating just painting another one, but I think I'm just gonna, 
let these be what they are and uh, it's a full completed bird and I can leave it up on on YouTube and crop it down uh, for a time-lapse for TikTok and stuff I will eventually be posting the other ones more time-lapsed but I just haven't uh, I'm just bad at details all right let's you guys want to fake you guys want to fake YouTube right into Twitch? <laughs> I can just list some names, maybe. I mean, Dan is live again. Crub, Crub is doing Sims 4 for part of the 10 days of Crub miss. You know who should do you know who should we get though? Uh let's go. I didn't know this, but 9.5 won uh do you guys know 9.5? She she won one of the game her awards. Uh she she was uh she won one best creative stream. So let's do uh fake YouTube. We'll just say YouTube raid, nice to meet you. And she'll know it's me. Um, yeah, I'm gonna hit stop streaming. This is this is my plan for the rest of the week on Twitch too. Except I'll just have more birds that I can paint along the way. Uh, thank you again, everyone who comes over here. I know it's still just me splitting Twitch audience over to YouTube, but uh, I don't know. It's I I feel like I'm doing something different over here. Um, so yeah, see you over there. Thank you, everybody. I don't even have an end screen. Huh.